Recently, what we've seen out of the White House is a lot of talk of how tough the White House is going to get on, in quotes, assault weapons. And what came from uh, the White House was this statement that Biden had banned assault weapons before and that he is going to do it again. So I want to take a moment and talk about that for a second. Uh, number one, did, did he ban assault weapons before? Well, yes and no. In 1994, under the assault weapons ban, the President Bill Clinton pushed through with the Democratic House, Democratic Senate, Democratic President. But several smart Democrats said, well, wait a second, you can't just do this. You got to put some sort of a, you know, a sunset on it to allow, you know, the future people to make their own rules and determine what they want for themselves. This can't just be an all out forever thing. So they put a sunset clause on it and 10 years later, it's back now or it's off the books now. So, but what did Biden play a role in that? Uh, you know, because ultimately he was a senator. And he didn't write it. All he did was raise his hand for it in a, in a fully controlled Democratic House, Senate, and White House. I mean, anybody, you know, anybody can do that. That is not fighting. That is not going up against the Constitution. I mean, it is going up against the Constitution, but it's not like he's leading this effort or he thought it through or it was his power that made it happen or his resilience that did this thing. No, he just raised his hand. So I bring that up to say that that's not a true statement. And it's very important that as we look at the current ban that's in the Senate right now, sitting there bans pretty much everything except for pump action shotguns, lever guns, revolvers, that, and, and bolt guns. And that's about it. Everything else, and, and rim fire. Uh, but everything else banned under this thing that went through the House and is now sitting in the Senate. And you know the White House is going to sign it. Uh, so it's very important we pay close attention to the threats and the chatter that's coming out of the White House. Even though their statement is false, I believe it's a real threat. I believe that to be true. So uh, there you go. Any thoughts or insight? Definitely put that below. I want to take a moment and say, you know, most people who watch this channel are not subscribers. Please take a moment and subscribe. It changes the algorithm and increases our ability to get these messages out, which I don't believe a lot of people are getting out. Any thoughts or insight? Again, put that below. But by far, the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns. Thank you.